I, th I mean, I think I've always been, you know, ever since age three or four, like kind of a music nerd. It was like, I was really into Whitney Houston records, my parents' Whitney Houston collection when I was really, really little. They bought me a drum set when I was maybe five. And I played the drums all the way through um, up to college, university, like jazz and orchestra and marching drums. And you know, I was doing like garage rock on the side with friends and, um, I think I saw like one of those scratch videos of like DJ Cubert or something when I was in you know early high school and I thought oh man I want to be a DJ and so I did DJing for a while and then I was never that good so so then I started just making my own stuff and uh, here I am To me, Stone Throw is like one of the labels I've, I was really into, you know, at a very young age. Even when they only had like three or four releases, I just knew that was the label I uh, would one day want to be on just because the owner of Peanut Butter Wolf has just such a crazy ear, you know, it doesn't, even though it's like a hip hop label, not really as much anymore, but um, he was always into like, psych you know 60s psych and minimal wave and punk and you know just the stuff i was into so um i guess it was kind of i think my i don't know if my, i don't know if i fit on the label i remember when i first got signed that there was a lot of like the hardcore hip-hop people saying oh stone's throws lost it they've gone and signed this loser from spokane but i think ultimately it does fit within that grants vision of, you know, I mean, yeah, anything goes, you know, I think it's one of the few labels where anything goes, and so I think that works for me. This is my first time at Dan City in Foligno, and um, I have to be completely honest, first of all, beautiful, beautiful, the best drive I've been on in a long time, coming from Rome. I have to, I'm a little worried though, uh, my, because I played... I'm basically I'm one for three in Italy. So I'll just put that on. I'll get that out of the way just right off the bat. Rome, <laughs> Bologna was very good. Torino, <laughs> so I'm a little afraid tonight. I, I think Italy is a tough crowd. It's one, you know, it's not an easy win. So if tonight goes well, I, this is going to go down in record books for me, personal. So we'll see. Um, but I'm very excited, and I'm glad the lineup is awesome. And, uh, you know, I'm playing the weirdo stage with Felix Kuban and stuff, so I think we'll be all right.